shaved his head. Don't worry, son. That's the way it goes, says Graham Gooch. It goes that way, and it's really cruel. But a marvellous century there by Richie Richardson. And West Indies, of course, go one up with two of these one-day internationals to play. The next one, it's Guyana, it's Georgetown, the border ground, and a population which absolutely is enthralled by cricket. They love to see it there, and they flocked in to see the England side. But this one-day international saw the toss won by West Indies, England put into bat, and Walsh is now bowling to Larkins. That's a good one, crisply struck, and that's a short boundary there. It races away into the low perimeter fence, and that's appreciated by this Georgetown crowd. Beautiful timing there by Wayne Larkins, four more runs. Well, we said before, not the place to bowl on Wayne Larkins' legs. He'll pick you off all day long, no problem at all. Oh, he's got it away. And that may get to the boundary. This will relieve the tension for Gucci, a bit. Into the boundary it goes. His first four. A little bit fortunate for, for Graham Goose. They are playing possibly towards me, Don. Ball coming off the inside edge. Into the gap, that's better. On the offside, he's, he's fine, no problems. Into the fence he goes, another four to Gooch. Oh, he's got those, a big six, he smashed it. A huge six out of the ground, I reckon, into the moat. I'm not sure they'll get that ball back. He has smashed it high and wide down towards the Georgetown Cricket Club. It's hit the roof and I suspect disappeared into the moat. I think that one could come back a little bit damp there, Tony. More than likely into the moat. A short ball from Ezra Mosley. Didn't bounce very high, but Larkin got in and pulled it over midwicket very easily indeed. They got it back and it is wet. It is absolutely soaked. It's been in the moat. I wonder who went in after it. That's a magnificent hit. Punched it through the line and really hit it hard for four. Nice as Graham Gooch at his best. He gets that big left foot down the wicket. Nice heavy bat, puts his body weight into the ball. There it goes. And the right foot stays back. He's perfectly poised and balanced. He's not overhitting. You see the balance of the foot forward, the weight forward, the right foot stays on the floor. That's when you know he's looked to play a correct technical shot, and he's a very powerful man. He's bowled in. Yorker right over it, mostly strikes, and England have lost their first wicket for 71. Well, that's really sad for Graham Gooch, who was playing so well, but he did play across this Yorker. It's thrown right in there and hits the pad, but I know it hit the pad and threw and cannoned onto the off stump, but really, it was disappointed when he sees the replay. He played right across it, working it towards mid-wicket. It's what he did last year against Australia, putting the front pad down and playing around that front pad to square leg. Oh, well stopped. Vivian Richards at backward point and he takes a bow and the crowd love it. He took off his hat and did a stage end of Act 3 bow. Very powerfully hit by Robin Smith and the young looking Viv Richards gets down very low, makes a very good stop. In the air, Bivertons catches it, Larkins is gone, he throws the ball miles into the sky. What great theatre, and I love him here. Applause for the bowler too, that's Ezra Mosley and Wayne Larkins, just got a bit bogged down after a very fluent start. Not really on the drive.
ball outside the off stump wasn't well enough up for the drive just sliced off the face of the bat straight to Bib Richards easily caught by every bat backward point good shot beautifully placed and down that slope that awkward slope to the ladies pavilion and that's four runs Port. well taken by Hooper Robin Smith caught Hooper Bold Walsh and 109 for three in the 30th over The reason for this is England realise they're getting bogged down. It's not a great shot. It's the second time we've seen an outfield catch similar to that one. Right off the meat of the bat, straight to extra cover. And that's the end of Smith. Brilliantly bowled and brilliantly taken. He's given him out. Caught behind a magnificent dismissal. So Alex Short goes for his second consecutive duck. Magnificently caught by Dujon of Walsh, and England are faltering their 109 for four, and that's Walsh's 100th wicket in one day internationals. He's bowled in through the gap. Carl Hooper is struck. England are really faltering here. They've now lost their fifth wicket, they're 112, and Carl Hooper. The only Guyanese in the team has brought the crowd to its feet. Bad shot, this one. When you first arrive at the crease, you can't play the off-spinner square on the offside of the wicket. You've got to give yourself a little bit of time. Have a look at this. He tries to hit him on the offside. He's bowled through the gate. And that really is disaster for England. They appeal. Up goes the finger of David Archer. And Alan Lamb has gone. That's how he went. Little Nick, fine Nick to Dujon, 21 to Lamb, 132 to 6. Freitas just turns it for one. They're looking for two and they're coming back again. Oh, that's out. He's got to be out. Yes, he's, in fact, he hasn't even run his bat in. What a stupid run that was. A magnificent throw. But I'm sure Philip De Freitas didn't even bother running his bat in. He was always struggling. The throw was very firm and flat. And now, further disaster for England. Let's see if we can pick up the return. Well, he's very courageous in shouting a sharp two, and he's very quick between the wickets, is Philip De Freitas. But if you don't get the bat down, you haven't got much chance. In the air, over the top, and once again into the gap. This is nice placement by Russell. He's playing a little gem of an innings here. It's exactly what the doctor ordered. Nothing that flash about it. Good solid shot into the gap. And for four. There is an art to hitting the ball over the infield. Well, that was excellent batsmanship, was that. He didn't try and hit that too hard. If you watch, he just gives himself a little bit of room as Bishop bowls. Stays a little bit on the leg side and just lets the bat swing nice and easily through the ball. Four balls to go, so it may well be that this is the last over. This is over number 48. Bowling! This will now definitely be the last over. He may have got a little inside edge on that one. He was trying to work it away on the offside, but the old off stump's gone back. Well, it was intelligent bowling by Bishop. He knows that Russell likes to come away a little to the leg side and give himself room to hit it through the off and he gets it right up there in the block hole that's the way get it up and full as it beat the outside edge one for a, it's 181 for eight this is the ball to ball when people are trying to slog you right up there on that batting crease line or even a low full toss last ball of the england innings bishop's going to bowl it
Oh, he's deflected it fine and it's gone for four. Just a little bit lucky. It wasn't a very clever delivery. I think he was trying to bowl the Yorker. It wasn't quite there. But then again, he had his day back in Jamaica. Only 48 overs bowled by the West Indies, but look at that England batting performance. No one reached a half century, and that's a very disappointing total, 188 for eight. Well, the West Indies made a good start. Best and Haynes looked comfortable. De Freitas is now bowling to Carlisle Best. He's got that through the gap beautifully. Magnificent placement. Best has hit right through the line of that one and placed it perfectly. This was by no way a half volley. Well short of a driving length, but Best just played through the line of the ball, opening the face of the bat. England made 188. Well, he's got that one back straight in this fast outfield. Eddie Emmings is 41. He's going to have to dive. He's not going to dive. Into the fence it goes. Down by the side screen for another four. This is Capel. Oh, and a big appeal there for LBW. First ball. He probably got himself just outside the line. Either that or the ball nipped back a little bit too much. This could be a close one. Let's have a good look at this. That was close. Pitching just outside the off stump, cutting back in, hitting him on the front leg, possibly going down the leg side, but it was a close one. Well, well, well worth a shout. And that's 4-2. Fraser perhaps just a little square there. No slip, and we've seen on numerous occasions today the ball race away fine for four. Brilliant improvisation here by Desmond Haynes. Chipping down the wicket to Capel. There he goes, down the wicket, not to the pitch, just opening the face of the bat, sliding it down the third man, four runs. Into the gap, that's four. Whack into the fence it goes. Five fours to Desmond Haynes. He's beginning to loosen up. At this point, there were problems with communication by satellite, but the quality of the cricket never dropped. So, Fraser. All well played. Beautifully struck. Carlisle Best is beginning to look a magnificent player. This is almost Carlisle Best's favourite shot. It was possibly a little bit too straight to be his favourite shot. He just in front of it, normally he flicks it off his hip and normally doesn't even look in the direction in which the ball is going. Oh, beautiful. Into the fence it goes. This is Calypso cricket. Superb half century for best. Well, he's played very well and deserved it today. He's dominated, he's been very confident and positive. He's hit the ball slightly inside out, quite firmly past Eddie Hemmings. Nice off drive. Haynes was caught on the boundary off the bowling of Hemmings for 50. But there was no relief for England as Richardson came to the crease and the onslaught continued. Tried to run it, and it went very fine. Sped away down there to find third man. You could almost say that Richard Richardson is just continuing his innings. Oops, well taken. He's caught brilliantly by Russell. 
Great joy for David Capel and Richie Richardson is gone. You won't see many catches better than this one. Going to first slip. Brilliant catch from Jack Russell. 155 for two. Such a positive hit, but the ball flew quickly. Again, let me remind you, it looks easy and slow, but in fact, tremendous reflex there by Jack Russell. Oh, cracking shot. Wonderful shot. Blister through mid-wicket. Off the back foot with that strong right hand coming in. Four more to Carlisle Best, who's now 97 not out. Just a bit of right hand there, Tony. Just flicking it through the onside. The bottom hand taking over. Carlisle Best very, very strong through the onside. The crowd goes just a little quieter. And here comes the chant. Young and old alike. That's it. Back he comes for the second. He'll be run out. Yes, he's got him. Yes, he's out. Run out. Out on the second. However, he did get one. And so that means he's got his century. But why would he have come back on that dangerous second run? The memorable moment here is he played the shot. Very easy single. He should have just trotted down the other end and savoured this great moment, his first hundred. But he tries an almost stupid run, suicidal run. Oh, my goodness me. I look back on that and think, why did I do that? Why didn't I just trot down there, stay at the non-striking end, and really, really enjoy that satisfying moment? What Jack oh Russell here. Goodness. Lovely take. On the half volley, he got there. Would have had the bowels off in a flash. Seven runs to win. He smashed it, his eyes out. De Freitas is underneath it. Is he going to catch it? Will he drive it? He's got him. Viv Richards out, caught in the deep. It went miles in the sky. I think Viv was going for the big one there. De Freitas, very good hands he's got. He dismissed Haynes, and I tell you what, have a look at that. His eyes just fluttered a little bit there because that was high and it was noisy. No problem there. Thank you very much. It's in the air, straight down the ground for four. That's 186, and I tell you what, that went flying off the bat. But look at that shot, a flat bat straight down the ground. Well, I think the hoop is trying to make sure that Atherton doesn't have to face another ball. He's just really got stuck into that. That was a good length ball just outside of stump, and he's really got stuck into it. This is small. Straight down the ground, that's it. It'll go all the way to the fence. The West Indies have won this contest and therefore have won the Cable and Wireless One Day International Competition. They go 2 0 up with one to play and they have won this match here in Guyana by six wickets. And a tremendous performance by the West Indies, led by Carlisle Best, that marvellous century, and 50 from Desmond Haynes, in rather cavalier fashion. The rest finished the game off quite simply. 191 for four. And so the game goes on now.